my best food is from I can eat some rice with mm. pepper. Hmm, fried sauce, I guess. Yes. Wow. And for swallow, which is your best swallow? Like ukele. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Which which of the swallow is the best for you? Amala. Hey! Amala and Ewedu. <laughs> oh my, Leo, kill it. Give me a high five, darling. That's it. Victoria likes Amala. Maybe I'm just going to take you to eat some Amala after this show. <laughs> All right, so children watching, Victoria is here and she's going to tell us a wonderful story. Okay, I hope you're ready. Ensure you take note of the details of the story and then we'll catch you later. All right, Victoria. Victoria, you have the floor. So tell us your story. This the title, title of your story. Of my story oh, okay. is Don't Be Stubborn. Don't Be Stubborn. Hmm. What a title. Go on, darling. There is a boy named Adam and his younger brother is Adepoju. Hmm. Adamu is stubborn. Why Adepoju is brilliant. Hmm. There was a day his teacher called him that he should come and do his next subject hmm. and he was playing in the class instead of him to attend to the teacher. Hmm. And the you now wondered that why is his elder brother playing? Hmm. They got old and the parents heard that Adamu was playing in the class hmm. while hmm. teaching. Hmm. Hmm. So their parents not gave him a punishment at all that is going to do some house choice every weekend. Wow. When he now wondered that why did his parents give him punishment, he now learned a lesson that he should not be stubborn. Hmm. It, he appeals to his parents that they should release him and they release him. Oh. But he still started that stubbornness again. Goodness me. Hmm. When his friends called him that they should come and help his teacher, he is to play outside and he called some of his bad friends. Hmm. He steered wow. a lie. Wow. He cheats during exams. <gasps> So there is a day his teacher caught him hmm. and his teacher gave him a punishment. Hmm. Good. Adamuna learned his lesson that he should not be stubborn. Hmm. He told his parents that he will not do it again. Hmm. And that was the end of the story. Hmm. The moral lesson is that don't be stubborn. Do the best you can do so that you can be brilliant. Hmm. Well, please put your hands together for Victoria. If you enjoy that story like I did, I think she deserves another round of applause. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for that story. You are welcome, Adamu, Lola. Adamu, why? Why were, why were you stubborn? Huh? And you say, I, I don't like punishment. Do you? Yes. You like punishment? No. I don't like punishment. That is why I try to behave myself. If daddy says, Lola, don't do that. Okay, sir. If my teacher says, don't do that, I'll say, okay. Because when you're stubborn, it makes people dislike you. Or oh, who likes a stubborn child? No. Victoria, do you like any stubborn person? No. No. A stubborn child will not have friends. I mean, good friends. Except stubborn children like him bad or herself company. and the, thank you he would just produce a bad company and bad company corrupts good manners so you don't want to keep bad friends and trust me nobody likes now let me tell you there's an animal that is known for stubbornness which animal is that victoria goats exactly when somebody sees and say you this silly goat do you like that no a goat, when you say, leave that place, leave that place, a goat will go, nah, nah, and will go. Before you say anything like this, the goat is back there again. I mean, 
they can be so stubborn. And nobody, nobody wants to teach a stubborn child, be friend with a stubborn child. Have you ever seen end of the year party? They'll not say, we have a prize for the most stubborn child. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No. So children, the story from Victoria says we should not be stubborn. All right? I want you to promise yourself. Say, I will not be stubborn. I will not be stubborn. You can say that again. Say, I will not be stubborn. I will not be stubborn. Thank you so much for such a wonderful story. You don't need to be beaten. You know, some of us will even say, uh, is it not that the mommy will just beat me? And that's the end. If it will not give me snack money, that's the end. But hey, that is not going to help you to turn out to be the great person that you want to be. Have you ever seen a stubborn president or anybody that is stubborn, that is stealing? In fact, you said Adamu was also stealing. Yes. Ha! Huh, that is not good at all. He steals, he lies. He cheats. He che ah, cheating in the examination hall is not good, is it? No. Because it will only dull your brain the more. So children, I hope you have learned from our storyteller today not to be stubborn. Thank you so much, Victoria, You're welcome, about Lola. that. Let me, before you go, I want to ask you some questions. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. So when it comes to punishment, have you ever served any punishment before? Are you sure about that? Yes, I have Lola. served punishment before and I don't like it. You know the punishment I served? Huh? <laughs> Having to place my thumb, my hand under my leg and then the sock in the top. Ah, oh, I was sweating. Because that day I lied. But since that day, I promised myself that I would never tell lies to my mommy again. Okay, so your best color is what? Yellow. Really? Yes. Why do you like yellow? Because it's always beautiful whenever I wear the type of clothes. Wow, okay, that's very good. So your best food is amala. Or rice and stew, right? And your best color is what? Yellow. Yellow. Hmm, okay. What do you have to tell children as they have resumed school? What advice do you have for them? Don't cheat during tests. Hmm. And always listen to your teachers. Hmm. Always listen to your teacher. That is a very a golden advice from you. Thank you so much. What would you like to become in the future? A surgeon. Hey, you want to solve the problem of people being sick? Yes. Wow. Ha, are you sure about that? You know, have you seen surgeons before? Yes. They work very hard. And I hope that dream comes true for you. Thank you so much, Victoria. Give me a high five. Thank you, children. Thank you for watching. That has been Victoria telling us a wonderful story. And of course, letting us into her world. This, this this skill of storytelling, you seem to really master it. Since when have you been telling story? Maybe two weeks ago. Really? Yes. Wow. So it's just something you, start, you just developed doing, right? That's a very good one. And I hope you will say yes to us when we invite you another time. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming today. You are amazing. And uh, of course, we'll be going to the game segment after now. I hope you are enjoying this program. You're learning. You're being inspired as well. Right now, we'll go on a short break. And when we return, we're going to be having the game segment. Like I told you, you have to really think and think very fast. Anyone who gets the answer to whatever it is during the game segment will have a free voucher to go to Alex Mandy VR place where they will have, you know, the, when they put this thing in their, in their eyes, right? And then you'll be seeing, it can take you to any part of the world. It can take you to anywhere. And then you'll be seeing live things. I mean, it's fun. I had a goal last week there and it was amazing. So for you being our storyteller today, you have won yourself a free free voucher to enjoy yourself. You go to Alex Mandes VR place in the Shobo and you are going to enjoy yourself for free. I think you should put your hands together for her. 
All right, so uh, thank you so much for today. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Join us. Don't change that die. If you do, eh? if I catch you, don't change it because when we return, it's going to be time for our game, game, game. We will soon be back. Madu Bello, a prince royal, was born 6th of December 1910 at Raba village Sokoto, northwestern Nigeria. His father was a district head and heir apparent to the Sultanate throne from the house of Osmano Danfodio, a religious and social reformer who brought the Harbour dynasty under the Fulani Caliphate in the beginning of the 19th century. Ahmadou Bello raised the bar of political consciousness and participation when, in 1944, he engineered the establishment of the Northern People's Congress NPC as the first political party in Northern Nigeria and the rallying point for politicians in the region before independence. History will not forget Ahmadou Bello for his charisma and political sagacity which provided easy passage for his kinsmen to assume political and administrative positions in Nigeria's post-independence era. The distinguished elder statesman and Sadaun of Sokoto has his face on his country's 200 naira currency as a mark of honor to one of the architects of Nigeria's independence. Western Spring Television identifies Ahmadu Bello as a watershed character in history. <music> Dramatist, playwright and icon of Yoruba thematic arts, Duro Ladipo was born December 18, 1931 in Oshobo, southwest Nigeria. His clergyman father christened him Timothy. His other names, Duro Dola, Duro Shomo, Duro Rike reflected his persona and the circumstances that surrounded his birth. The legendary stage actor had in several public fora identified himself as one of the greatest abikus born to die in this world. Family records reveal how he was born and died 13 times. The intertwining names he bore thus lent credence to his spiritism. Duro Ladipo was one of the best known and world acclaimed Yoruba dramatists to emerge from post colonial Africa. His notable works, Oba Koso, Oba Waja, and Morimi, took him beyond Africa to several parts of the world. By the time Duro Ladipo died on 11 March 1978, the Nigeria's first cultural ambassador had acquired a towering image as an artist whose works adorned the frontage of Trenchard Hall. University of Ibadan. Western Spring Television identifies Duro Ladipo as a major character in history. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was an educationist and advocate of women's rights. She was recognized for her virtually comments against colonial policy of taxation as it affected the Nigerian women. Bere, as fondly addressed by her women followers, Fumilayo championed the initiation of universal adult suffrage, which gave an unprecedented leeway for women to contest elective offices and power to exercise voting rights. Married to a foremost educationist and teacher, Israel Oladotu Ransom Kuti, the first president of Nigeria Union of Teachers, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was the mother of children who inherited her spirit of activism. Olufela and Be Ololari, the former, a renowned musical legend. She was the first female student of Abe Okuta Grammar School and the first female to own and drive a car in Nigeria. The award recipient of Member of Order of Nigeria MON and Lenin Peace Prize was born on 25th October 1900 and was killed on the 13th April 1978 by rampaging road soldiers in Lagos. Western Spring Television identifies Fumilayo Ransom Kuti as a watershed character in history.
welcome, welcome, welcome to the segment. It's the game segment. And to help me in this game segment is, what's your name, darling? Awokweju Esther. Awokweju Esther, a learner from St. Leo Catholic Nursery and Primary School. Awokweju Esther, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. So this is it. We are playing the game Charade. Yes, Charade is the game we are playing. So how is this play game going to play out? Now, Kweju here is going to be describing things in this paper, five of them, very quickly. When she describes it, she's not going to say a word. She's not going to tell anyone what she's describing. But you in the audience are going to say the answer. Whatever it is you think she's describing, just say it. Now, when you want to say it, there's no need to get up. Just raise your hand and I'll call you. Okay, I don't want a chorus answer, so you don't say, I said it first, you said it first, no. So if you know the answer, raise your hand. And we only have a few seconds to do this. So are you ready? Yes! Are you sure you're ready? Yes! Okay, so this is the first one. Can you see? Yes. Can you see? Yes. A doctor. You please. A Fantastic! Plus, put your hands together for her. Sit, sit, sit. You don't need to stand. You don't need to stand. You just sit. If you say the answer and you don't raise your hand, I will not take it as a point for you. So, you have just won yourself a free voucher from Alex Mandy VR Place. Okay? All right. So, who's going to win the next one? Who's going to win the next one? Let's see what it is. Remember, if you know the answer, just raise your hand. Yes, you. A teacher. Teacher, please sit. Please put your hands together for her. A teacher. That seems to be very easy. It seems you are describing it so easily. Huh? You want them to win all the voucher? Okay, let's see if we'll have another winner of the voucher to have a wonderful experience at Alex Mandy VR Place. Um, hmm, this one is dicey. If it is not exactly what I have here, it's a no. So, yes, please. Okay. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. How did you know? Why did you say a soldier? Come on, put your hands together for him. Wow, it seems we are going to get all of our voucher, all of our free tickets today. Okay, well, let's see who the next winner will be. Okay, let's have you over there. Yes? Sit. Mother, Mother absolutely. Please put your hands together for her. Wow, you've won a free ticket as well. Who is going to win this last ticket? Hmm. Ah, da, 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 da. No talking. Oh, sugar. No talking, that's the deal. You know you have your own free ticket already, right? Aha, so you're going to have a great time at Alex Mandy VR Place. So if you talk, no ticket for you. So let's go. You have made a sound. You have made a sound. I said no sound. Huh? No sound. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to change that because you made a sound. Now listen. Ah, okay. You can see her, right? Please get up. So what was that? Hmm, what was that? Let's have Victoria sit and say it. Uh, it has to be a particular one. You have to say a particular one. Oh, but you seem we got them on this one, right? Come on, give me, give me. That's it. Okay, you seem we got them. Um, yes, you over here. A beer. No, was it? Nope. It's yes. A car. Is that? No. No. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. A dog. Was it? No. Maybe you should try it one more time. Let me try. I... Uh, don't stand when you're answering. You don't need to stand. Okay. You don't need to stand. Okay. Same. Somebody is ready. Yes. A lion. Don't stand. Sit. You said lion. Nope, it's not a lion. 
<laughs> it's not a lion. Is it a lion? No. No, it's not a lion. Do you want her to describe again? Yes. Okay. For the last time. Well, sorry, camera can't take this, but go on. Can you see that? <laughs> okay. Uh, who wants to try again? You on the back over there. It's new. Hi. She's close, right? Very close. Very close. Don't stand again. Sit and answer. Oh, 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 who has not spoken today? Someone that has not answered, attempted a Okay? Exactly. Excellent! Put your hands together for him. Sit, sit, sit. Yes, that was a 13. You are the winner of the last ticket. Well done. You are all amazing. You're so smart. Put your hands together for yourself. A big thanks, a big thanks, a big thanks to you, Alex Mandy, for providing us with this free ticket. Thank you. All right, so all the five of you, including my pledge right here, you have won yourself free tickets to enjoy yourself at Alex Mandy's VR Place. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for her. Thank you. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today. Now, before we go, we want to make a presentation to St. Leo Catholic Nursery and Primary School. And we have a child to receive this wonderful gift from Cow Concepts. We want to say thank you for coming. We want to say thank you for being part of the show. So you have a little pretty gift on behalf of Western Spring Television and Kiddies World with Lola. All right, thank you so much, Cow Concept, for this amazing and beautiful gift. We want to say God bless you. All right, so I'm going to invite my friend right now. Please step, step over here. Come over here. She's going to put her together for her. So she's going to be receiving the gift on behalf of uh, um, Western Spring Television and on behalf of the school. Okay, so here we go. All right then, so this is it on behalf of, uh, yes, uh, Western Spring Television and of course, uh, um, Kitty's World with Lola, we want to present you this. Beautiful, right? Thank you so much, St. Leo Catholic Nazareth Primary School. Thank you. All right, put your hands together for her. You want to say something? Thank you. All right then. Okay. On behalf of... Come here. On behalf of the proprietor, most Reverend John Akin Joye, hola. I'm here to say thank you. Aww. And also the head teacher wow. and all the people of St. Leo Catholic and Nursery and Family School. Wow. We want to say thank you. Thank for, you too. For you to give us this. Oh, thank you, Thanks darling. And God bless God you. God bless you too, darling. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. And Cow Concept, we appreciate you for making this possible. Thank you for watching today's episode of Kitty's Word with Lola. I hope you have been inspired. I hope you have had fun today. For all of our audience here from St. Leo Catholic Nazareth Primary School, we say thank you. Put your hands together for yourself. Put your hands together. Wow, thank you. Thank Thank you. And of course, our wonderful, you know, viewers at home in several places of the world. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for watching us live. We appreciate you. Thank you. Please put your hands together for our audience, for our fans watching us worldwide. Okay. And we also want to say thank you to our partner and sponsor, Cow Concept. We say thank you. Alex Mandy VR Place. We say thank you. God bless you. And of course, to all the crews, everyone, thank you so much for watching us today. Don't forget to also watch us and subscribe to our YouTube channel that is um, Western Spring Television. Don't forget, don't forget, just subscribe. Press the subscribe button like this. Boom. And of course, the notification. Every time we go live, you'll be able to watch several wonderful programs on this channel station. Okay, so yes, get ready. Next week is another time. Don't forget to join us at 1 p.m. on Star Times. That is channel 190 DTT. Until next week, again, when I come your way, enjoy yourself. Don't forget, don't be stubborn. Lola loves you. See you next time and bye.
Can you imagine the feeling when you get your news as the break with facts and clarity? Our news are reported as it is. In Africa, 